Yeah, the thing is, NARI have as, as the mandate um, research and technology transfer for every other crop in this country other than rice and sugar. Um, and that's a very broad mandate, right? Um, over the years, NARI was very, very strong in terms of research um, but the, and technology transfer in a small way, but I guess the recent is, is growing rapidly and very quickly, um, the transfer technology. But we just want to move this research transfer technology the research transfer technology to commercial farming. Um, commercial farming, I recently was talking to an international group, we're talking commercial farming for exports. And I says, please, let us start firstly, and as you mentioned, import substitution. Can we produce enough potatoes so that we can be self-sufficient? Can we produce enough carrots so that we can be self-sufficient? Can we produce enough onions so that we can be self-sufficient? You know, these are things that, if you look at our import bill, they run into millions of US dollars a year. Um, we can start with that and then grow to supply the, the region. The potato project. I'm on to uh, an international agency to look at how we can have some more tropical varieties. And those tropical varieties came from uh, the, a research institute in Latin America to Jamaica um, and were tested by the, that agency. Um, and we're going to have some. They're already packaging some onion seeds for us here. Um, I also a group in Barbados that are planting commercially 10 acres. I don't know where they find the 10 acres in Barbados, carrot, carrots and, and onions. And they want to come to Guyana. I said, just send me a proposal of what you want and what you can do. Um, and I'll ensure that we facilitate. So we are on the push and we hope that our mandate development of the technology and the technological packages. Um, somewhere down the road, each of the commodities, we want to have best practices, you know, because it's fairly new in the large scale. While we can not invent the wheel and, and do a Google search and you can have some best practices, but in each country, the microclimate, the agro ecosystems and so on, the micro systems are not the same. So we have a little bit of tweaking to do with some of those. We will want to do that, get some best practices. And this year being the International Year of Fruits and Vegetables, I hope um, to, we hope to launch it very soon, uh, where we would uh, try to propagate the push to advance the cause of our fruits and vegetables and showing you that eating healthy um, is the way to go and eating wholesome, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, one of the thing I keep going around and telling people is that let food be your medicine and not medicine be your food right so that's that's my slogan that's not the slogan of food, the international year for fruits and vegetables but that's where we want to go you know to ensure that all of us have on the table and i remember some of my friends that says a meal without meat is no meal uh, i can tell you a meal just hold some fresh fruits and vegetables is good enough you know um and that's the way we should go. Guyana is always known as the bed basket of the Caribbean. In my time at the rice board, I was talking Guyana is the rice bowl of the Caribbean. Um, now uh, uh, here at Nari, I want to make sure that we have uh, wholesome food across the region from the farmers within Guyana and probably um, as an extension to some of our sister states in the CARICOM. Um, our role at Nari is cut out for us. The emphasis here, and that's what we want to work on, and I guess the, the big emphasis is, first of all, input substitution and then exports. And as the leader of the team here, I want to ensure that we fulfill our mandate at NARI.